Hi guys, in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can actually send and receive USD on other foreign currency in Nigeria today. Now, whether you're in Nigeria or you're in other part of the world where you are actually finding it a little bit difficult to actually transact internationally, then this video is going to be very holistic because I'm going to be exposing what you actually need to do right now in order to actually start getting more international transactions for yourself. And if you're in this space and let's say you're an online marketer or you actually you know, do a couple of online transactions with a series of websites as a freelancer and all, and you're looking for that one website that actually allows you to receive international payments, then this particular video as well is where you actually want to watch to the very end. Now, this is going to be a paper alternative that you guys have most probably have heard about before. And when you actually look through my phone on here, you can see I actually have a series of transactions from $320 to $58, $77, $490, $175. Like, I transact on this particular app as frequent as I can. And this particular application is one that we are very familiar with and you must have actually heard about it one or twice before. But then, you actually are still thinking that it is not for you. This is actually Pioneer. Yes, if you've heard Pioneer, let me know in the comment section below. But chill, because a couple of people who have created Pioneer accounts in recent time are finding it a struggle to finish up their verification and as well get their US and different other currency bank accounts. As you can see on the screen right here, I actually have my US bank account, I have my Euro bank account, and I can also get paid in GBP. There are also accounts that are there, of which I've not requested for, from the Canadian accounts to the uh, Singapore account and a couple of other currencies. Should in case I actually get a client here and there, I know how to actually receive these funds for myself. And this is exactly what you want to do right now in 2024 to not only set up a Pioneer account, but as well to also bypass all of the verification issues and fully activate your account for yourself. It is very important to understand how to do this. Make sure you actually watch this particular video to the very end. Now, there are going to be a couple of timestamps on this video so that you can easily skip any aspect where you feel like you're very familiar with already and all to the most important part which you actually need. So just take up on the timestamps and use that to navigate through this particular video. So looking right here on my screen, this is Pioneer. But then guys, the very first thing I actually want to get started with is making sure that you're using my link to actually access the Pioneer account. So you actually want to go ahead and type in franklinemmanuel.com slash Pioneer. Now, once you actually type this inside of your browser right now, it's going to bring you to a well brand new page, right? This page actually is where you have the opportunity to actually even get $50 for free if you're able to create your account and you can transact with it over a period of time. Yes, there are terms and conditions to get your free $50 and you actually want to follow through with those terms and conditions. And as you can see right here, it says sign up and earn $50 for yourself. So, Pioneer actually works with almost all of the freelance websites from Upwork to Trader Double to Tabula and a couple of others. You can see the key benefit on all of those. Now, let's skip that and we go ahead to sign up. Now, on sign up here, you simply want to proceed to actually start filling up all of your details on the sign up forms, okay? Yeah, you can see here, fill in as an individual. You want to put in your first name. And let me just do mine with you guys right here. You want to put in your last name. You want to put in your email address, for example, okay? You want to re-enter your email address again, and then you also want to put in your date of birth, okay? So once you're done with this, you actually want to click on the next. Now, when I'm clicking on next, this is where you get to put in your contact details, all right? So you want to fill up all of this right away, and then uh, you also get a verification code, all right? So let me just fill it up right now so that you all can see. So I'm going to request for this code and it will be sent to me down into my mobile phone number and I just have to impute it. Now, as you can see right now, I've imputed this code and I want to click on next. Now, once I actually do this, I'm going over to the next page where I can now impute my password and re-enter my password. And then I'm going to choose the security questions that I'm going to, you know, answer. And for my ID details, I'm going to answer that as well. So. I'm just going to put in a couple of numbers here and then click on next. Now, once you actually click on next, it's going to take you over to the next page where you actually want to choose your personal bank account. So this is really where I'm going to be entering my personal bank account details. And once I'm done with this, I can actually proceed and agree on all of this and then click on submit, going over to the next page. Now, once you actually follow through with this, uh, you're going to be taken over to the next page where you can actually get to verify these details you've presented. And this is where you can actually upload an ID or other details that they're going to be sending to you. Now, for Pioneer verification, you actually want to make sure that you actually have your international passport or your national ID or your driver's license, right? Any of these three would work. 
all right so once you actually have this you can actually go ahead and repeat it and then you can create your account with pioneer and it is fully verified but then guys there's going to be a very big issue because once you actually create your account and it's fully verified you are going to be getting a prompt which says that before you can request an account to pioneer you need to actually get 50 dollars transaction okay and you're not like i just set up an account so where will i get 50 dollars from right <laughs> So let me just share with you guys exactly what you need to do in order to bypass that and have your account up and running. Now, what you simply want to do right now is to come over uh, this particular position and click on uh, your icon and then go over to the support center. Okay, so once you go over to the support center, uh, you are actually going to be brought up to this page where you can actually, you know, select a couple of, you know, options. So I'm going to say uh, receiving accounts and on this i can go back to the next page where i can say i want to apply to receive accounts in different countries yep i'm going to click on that and once you click on that uh, you can see here this is only what you need to do you want to go ahead and click on contact us okay so basically you actually want to go ahead and either live chat with uh, pioneer customer service or send them a message whichever one it is okay you can actually start up a live chat and this is actually going to you know, um, activate the AI bots, who most probably would be telling you almost the same thing like you really know. So sending a message right here might actually be a better option because right here, uh, it's going to be going over to the, you know, guys at the department, okay? Now, in this particular case, you want to tell them that you really need this particular card, but then your Pioneer account is not linked to any platform yet. And you can show them where you want to receive money from or you want to receive money from this particular website or that particular website where you're making money and you just put in all the screenshots needed here and automatically i think within a day or two they get to actually remove that block on your account and give you access to the account that you basically need to receive payment okay that's the very first step so the second thing i actually want to do right here is to go over to fiverr.com and you actually want to sign up as a you know a seller okay so let's see become a seller and uh, once you're able to sign up here you want to now go ahead and create your account so let me just sign in because i already have an account and you want to put up a gig okay you want to put up a gig let's say you put up a gig of about let's say 70 80 or 100 dollars right and you can actually send the cash to your friend to buy that gig from you now once you've been able to actually make purchase for this gig you guys can just you know collab and then claim that you've completed the gig based on series of transaction you've done and Fiverr would actually be able to release that font for you. Now, when Fiverr actually wants to release the font for you, what you want to do is now to connect your Payoneer to Fiverr and tell Fiverr to send the font down to your Payoneer account. Immediately you do that, your account is going to be fully active and you are good to go. Okay, that is basically all that you need. And let's let's see here, let's go over to uh, billings and payments you're going to see what i'm talking about right now because once you're here on billings and payments uh you actually have the option to choose a payment method where you can actually add a payment method and this is also very similar to using upwork as well because upwork as well also co connect directly to pioneer and you can use it to receive this funds for this particular space now this is exactly how you can actually go about setting up your pioneer account and also activating it now the next part here you're going to ask is okay frankly if i have money in my pioneer account how do i withdraw it all you simply need to do is just to go and open a domiciliary account in any nigerian bank or your local bank basically and you can actually you know uh, link it up here for example i'm going to show you the accounts i have linked up you can actually see that uh, this right here is my gt account you can see gt account so when anybody sends me money to pioneer i just withdraw it straight to my gt account and it's there for me, okay? Yeah, yeah so, so this, this is exactly what I would usually do. Uh, there, is also, there are also a couple of options out there if you want to rejoin transfer payments. And definitely, I am going to, you know, be sharing those with you. And most importantly, guys, uh, the account that Payoneer gives you would actually link to PayPal, okay? But you actually want to ask for the Community Federal Service Bank. Yes, the one they give you might actually be Bank of America. That one might not link to your PayPal, but when you actually use your community fair service bank with Payoneer, it links to your PayPal and you can use it to pull down funds from PayPal to Payoneer down to your local bank account and you're good to go. I hope this actually helps us all of you guys. Let me know what you've learned in the comments from below. Your questions and concerns as well, drop it down there. And guys, make sure to subscribe to this particular channel and share this video to more people who most likely would like it, okay? Until next time, uh, it's a peace from me.